This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. It's going to be mainly because I want to be in a position to be a champion. And if they're preventing me from being a champion, then I want to fight you in order to be a champ. But it is not simply because, you know, you've gotten a push that I didn't get and I'm fighting you because the system didn't, you know, push me the same way. And I took my amateur, my extensive, successful amateur background has allowed me from the very start to get the push from the Al Heymans of the world and the golden boys of the world and the zones of the world and the match rooms of the world. So I purposely put in the work as an amateur to be able to obtain the success early on in my career. And people had high hopes for my career and my career went exactly how people with minor setbacks, people predicted this for my career because of the hard work that I put in. So it's not non-deserving. And when you have a guy who says all of this, he's not getting the fair share, he's not getting that, maybe you didn't do what you needed to do. And I've put in that work since I was 14 years old. I made all the necessary sacrifices. I didn't have a teenage life. I didn't go to parties. I didn't deal with girls. I knew that if I sacrificed all my life as a kid, that I would have a successful pro debut. My, my whole idea was to be like Andre Ward, when he came out of the Olympics with a gold medal. That was always my dream. I always wanted to have that gold medal going into the pro ranks and being that superstar. So it was something that I worked hard for. And so his career didn't shape up to be that. And now he's jealous and saying that the system is against him and that, you know, he isn't getting the same push. But you got to understand, you can't hate on somebody who's put in that work. You can't hate on somebody who is humble enough to say, hey, my brother, I have nothing against you. But at the same time, I'm just doing me. And what I'm doing is putting me in a position to be successful, to have the HBOs and to have the Showtimes and all these the zones and all these different networks be interested in me because, you know, I put in that work. It's not, it's, it's not non-deserving, you know, so I can't speak for a hater. I can only speak for myself and, you know, much success to anybody who is doing anything in this boxing world because it takes a hell of a man to put on two pair of gloves and go in there and risk your life for a paycheck. Okay, and last question. If you could describe yourself in one word and also Gabe Rosado in one word, what would it be? Well, if I could describe myself in one word, it'll be miracle. Um, I mean, obviously having a second chance at life and being able to strive and I had gained all the success and lost it and had to gain it again. I mean, people really don't understand just the roller coaster in which my life it details. Like I've been through a lot, you know? And so for someone to say that it's non-deserving, it's like injustice, man. And that's why I really want him to eat his words because he don't know in how depth his words strike when he say the things that he says, because I know exactly the hardship that I had to go through to get to the position that I'm at. He's talking like he's had a hard life. No, my brother, I had a hard life too. I come from the trenches. You know, I come from the dirt and I fought my way out and I fought to be in this position. And so he's going to eat his words. So if I can explain him in one word, hater.